Stop. Pay attention. Today, the universe is sharing a message about you and a people who is connected in a special way. But things aren't going so smoothly for the other person right now. They're feeling all mixed up inside, like they want to talk, but they just can't find the words. It's like a big puzzle they're trying to solve, but they're missing some important pieces. And I am here as the vessel of the divine, the channel through which heavenly wisdom flows to you, conveying it to you. If this message doesn't quite hit home for you right now, that's perfectly okay. Sometimes, the twists and turns of life's dramas can feel like they're unfolding in someone else's story. But rest assured, even if this particular scenario doesn't resonate with you at the moment, there's still value in exploring it. By delving into these complexities, you're gaining insight and understanding that may prove invaluable down the road. So, while it may not strike a chord with you immediately, know that every experience, whether directly relatable or not, contributes to your growth and journey. Keep an open heart and mind, and you'll find the wisdom and guidance you seek, even in unexpected places. As you listen, open your heart for what I am about to share. Bear witness to the limitless love and steadfast support that the Almighty bestows upon your beloved soul. As you traverse the twists and turns of your journey, remember that you are never alone. The creator of all things, the one who breathed life into the cosmos, loves you unconditionally. You are a cherished creation, intricately woven into the fabric of existence. Every breath you take is a precious gift, a reminder of the divine essence dwelling within you. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, is aligning the stars and weaving the threads of your destiny. Can you sense the excitement reverberating through the celestial realms as you prepare for this? Have you ever felt like there is something special in the air, like a whisper of secrets that the world hasn't quite revealed yet? It's like a gentle breeze teasing your senses, leaving you feeling a flutter in your heart. You might sense someone nearby, their presence almost tangible, but their words seem to dance just out of reach. Your heart knows, though. It's like your spirit is nudging you, saying, trust me, there's something there. Sometimes, our spirit guides, those silent companions on our life's journey, offer little hints to reassure us. They might send signs like puzzle pieces, waiting for us to put them together. Maybe you catch sight of initials like M, A, R, and G, or perhaps the name Margaret keeps popping up unexpectedly. These are like breadcrumbs left by fate, guiding you along the path. And there's a message of freedom, a call to let go of things that weigh you down. Imagine it like shedding heavy layers, each one representing obligations or contracts that no longer serve your soul. Picture yourself standing tall, feeling lighter with each burden released into the wind. Lately, have you felt like your words were lost in translation, like you're speaking a language only your heart understands? It's like being adrift in a sea of misunderstanding, longing for someone to truly see you to hear the whispers of your soul. But remember, dear friend, true connections need no explanation. They're like two puzzle pieces fitting perfectly together, completing a picture without needing words. So, listen to your heart's whispers, trust those fluttering sensations, and follow the signs laid out before you. For in the dance of fate and intuition lies the magic of true connection. In the realm of spirit, where the unseen energies of the universe dance and intertwine, true connections are forged with a silent understanding that defies explanation. Picture it like this. Imagine two puzzle pieces coming together, fitting perfectly without any need for force. That's how souls connect. They just click. It's like feeling a warmth deep within your chest when you're around someone who gets you without you having to say a word. It's a language spoken not with lips, but with the heart. You know when you meet someone and it's like you've known them forever? Even if you've just met? That's the magic of connection. In these moments, it's as if the universe is whispering to you, guiding you to the people who are meant to be a part of your journey. And when you listen to that whisper, when you trust that feeling in your gut that tells you this connection is something special, you're aligning yourself with the flow of the universe. So, don't worry about trying to explain it all with words. Sometimes, the most powerful connections are the ones that speak to the soul in silence. Trust in the magic of those connections, 
for they are the threads that weave the beautiful tapestry of your life. As you await this divine encounter, rest assured that the Almighty is meticulously preparing both your hearts. The love that will blossom between you is not merely a coincidence, it is the fruition of a divine plan. Love in its purest form mirrors the divine love that surrounds you always. Embrace this love as a sacred gift, recognizing its ability to transcend the constraints of time and space. In moments of impatience, when you wonder why the meeting has not yet occurred, remember that the divine operates on a timeline beyond human comprehension. The waiting period is not a punishment but a preparation. Each day and every experience is shaping you into the person you need to be for this divine connection to flourish. As you navigate this journey, remember to trust the wisdom that resides within you. Your intuition is like a compass, guiding you towards the people and experiences that align with your soul's purpose. Embrace your nurturing instincts, for they are the seeds of compassion that blossom into acts of kindness and love. Your choices ripple outwards, touching the lives of others in ways you may not even realize. Even when others may not fully understand your decisions, trust that you are positively impacting the world around you. Beyond the veil of fear lies liberation. Release the doubts and hesitations that hold you back from fully embracing your journey. Step boldly into the unknown, for it is in the darkness that the brightest stars are born. As you journey onward, Remember that you are not alone. You are surrounded by love and supported by the universe every step of the way. You are returning home to yourself, awakening to the infinite light of your divine being. If these words resonate with the deepest part of your soul, consider exploring subliminals to manifest your heart's desires. These powerful tools can help align your subconscious mind with your soul's intentions, paving the way for miracles to unfold. Sending love and light to illuminate your path as you continue on your journey of self-discovery and transformation. Embrace the beauty of your soul's unfolding and know that you are infinitely supported by the universe. You've traversed countless lifetimes within the span of this singular incarnation. Each moment, each experience, has been a thread woven into the intricate fabric of your being. Along this journey, you've shed layers of the self through ego-death experiences emerging anew with each transformation. Like a snake shedding its skin, you've cast off old beliefs, fears, and detachments, releasing them to the winds of change. Each shedding has brought you closer to the core of your essence, stripping away the layers that veiled the brilliance of your soul. In these moments of awakening, the universe has whispered its secrets to you, aligning with the decisions guided by your intuition and emotions. You felt the cosmic current swirling around you, confirming the innate wisdom of your intuitive nature. As you continue to navigate this journey of self-discovery, trust in the synchronicities that unfold, for they are the universe's way of affirming your path. Embrace the ebb and flow of life's currents, knowing that each twist and turn is leading you ever closer to the realization of your true self. You are a beacon of nurturing warmth and courageous determination, lighting the path not only for yourself, but also for those who journey alongside you. With unwavering dedication, you pursue personal goals that not only uplift your own spirit, but also serve to elevate the collective consciousness. In prioritizing your own growth and well-being, you inadvertently become a source of inspiration and empowerment for others. Your actions ripple outward, like gentle waves spreading across the surface of a tranquil pond touching the lives of those around you with a profound sense of love and encouragement. Your reputation precedes you, a testament to the genuine care and kindness that you effortlessly exude. Even in your absence, others speak highly of you, their words a testament to the positive impact you've made in their lives. And amidst the whispers of admiration and respect, there lingers a subtle energy of romantic connection. Those drawn to your magnetic aura may still feel the pull of your energy, sensing the deep and unspoken bond that exists between kindred souls. As you continue to walk your path with grace and authenticity, know that your light shines brightly, illuminating the hearts of all who cross your path. You are a radiant force of love and compassion, a guiding star in the vast expanse of the universe. In the journey back to yourself, 
Remember that fear is but a fleeting shadow cast by the mind. It is a phantom, an illusion that dissolves in the presence of truth and love. As you continue on your path of self-discovery, let go of doubts and hesitations that weigh heavy on your heart. You are returning home to the essence of your being, shedding the layers of illusion to reveal the radiant light that has always resided within you. Embrace the truth of your divine nature, for you are a beloved child of the universe, worthy of love and belonging. Delight in the infinite wisdom and beauty that resides within you, for it is a reflection of the boundless depths of your soul. As you bask in the glow of your inner light, let go of any remnants of fear or self-doubt, knowing that you are eternally supported by the loving embrace of the universe. With each step you take towards self-acceptance and self-love, you align more deeply with the truth of who you are. You are a magnificent being of light and love, here to shine your unique brilliance onto the world. So, embrace your divine being with open arms and rejoice in the limitless possibilities that await you on your journey of self-discovery. Additionally, remember that manifestation doesn't always follow conventional paths. Picture your goals and dreams as seeds planted in the fertile soil of your soul, ready to sprout and bloom in the garden of your life. As you nurture these aspirations, trust that they may manifest in ways you never imagined, guided by the mysterious workings of your intuition and aligned with the deepest desires of your soul. Embrace the unconventional twists and turns of your journey, for it is often in the unexpected detours that the most beautiful destinations are found. Trust in the divine orchestration of the universe, knowing that your manifestations will unfold in perfect harmony with your highest good. Along the way, be open to reevaluating your goals and desires, ensuring that they remain in alignment with the ever-evolving path of your soul. Allow yourself the freedom to release any limiting beliefs or obligations that no longer serve your growth, creating space for new possibilities to blossom. Remember, dear traveler, that it is safe to move towards spaces that honor your true essence. Trust in the wisdom of your heart and the guidance of your intuition as you journey onward, knowing that you are always supported and held by the loving embrace of the universe. The angels, messengers of the divine, envelop you with their love and guidance. They whisper words of encouragement in the rustling of leaves and speak to you through the melodies of bird songs. When doubt creeps in, look to the signs that surround you for the angels are constantly communicating their presence and support. God's love for you is like a gentle breeze that caresses your soul and a steady flame that illuminates your darkest nights. Even in moments of feeling lost, remember that the divine light within you can never be extinguished. You are a divine creation, and your existence is a testament to the boundless love that the Creator showers upon you. As you prepare to welcome this awaited soul into your life, Take a moment to reflect on the journey that has led you to this point. Through the trials and triumphs, the joys and sorrows, each experience has left its mark on the canvas of your life, crafting a masterpiece that is uniquely yours. Guided by the Almighty's infinite wisdom, you have been shaped into a vessel capable of giving and receiving love in its purest form. In the intricate tapestry of existence, every soul you encounter is a divine appointment. Each connection, whether fleeting or enduring, serves a purpose in the unfolding of your story. As the Master Weaver, the Almighty intricately intertwines the threads of your life with those of others, creating a rich tableau of interconnected destinies. As the moment of meeting this special soul draws near, envision the boundless love that will flow between you. It is a love that transcends the limitations of the physical realm echoing through eternity. The angels, in their celestial chorus, sing songs of celebration for the divine union that is about to take place. Your heart too can join in this melody, for you are a vital note in the symphony of creation. In the moments leading up to this encounter, the Almighty encourages you to remain open and receptive, trusting in divine timing as the Creator's plan unfolds with perfect precision. Envision the anticipation you feel mirrored in the celestial realms. Angels joyfully prepare for the cosmic alignment that will bring two souls together. When the appointed moment arrives and you finally lay eyes on the one destined for you, know that it is a sacred meeting ordained by the heavens. 
the divine spark within each of you will recognize its counterpart and the love that blossoms will reflect the eternal love binding all of creation. The Father says today that I am your God and your good. I am the health of your countenance. I am your safety and your security. I am your high tower. I am your rock. I am your foundation. I am your abiding place, says the Father. This day I am drawing you into the depths of my spirit that you might live and move and have your being in the secret place of the Most High, where I will cause you to be hidden from the world. Your body, your earth suit, may be seen, but not the hidden man of the heart, your spirit man where I empower and enable you to face every challenge. You see, says the Father, I am teaching and causing you to live this day in a renewed inner awareness of my presence within. Your outer man may be out there walking and working in the world, but I have hidden you in my pavilion. I am fellowshipping with you in the temple that is within you, the temple that is my dwelling place on the inside of your person. In any and every place or situation in life, remember that I am invisible within you. You are hidden in the holy place of my presence. Remember that underneath are the everlasting arms. I am your all in all that all you have is of me for I am your God and your source. If called upon for extra work, you can do it without feeling that you are using up your strength because my strength is your strength. You need not fear the passing of years because before Abraham was, you existed in me and that is where you exist. The Father says today timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me and seek me and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates, much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, 
My voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out, you will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you, and you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost. But beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who groped to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I have blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them. Forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts, and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration, and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. He embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer 
for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and desires. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angel standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer. The Father says today, step into the perfection wherewith I am perfect. And as I am, so are you in the earth. Who told you that no one is perfect? Was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you, doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you, for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depths of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down and situations may bring forth frustration. But I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, 
Trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign God of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me, cry out to me, let your mouth pray. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a God of abundance and life and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart, lift your head up, set your expectations high, dream big and believe that I can do anything. When your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I have already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan, set your expectations high and take action, guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you, I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance 
by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace, and know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this no longer should you settle for a mediocre existence. My cherished child, as your eternal shepherd, I have woven days of unparalleled blessing into the fabric of your existence. In the moments when you kneel in prayer, the seeds of your unwavering faith and relentless determination flourish, promising to bear fruit that will drench your soul in tears of happiness and echo through the corridors of time with laughter of joy. Yet, on this sacred journey, you must anchor your heart in the belief that no challenge is insurmountable. Stand firm with a resolve that is steadfast and unshakable, commanding mountains to move, knowing that the celestial realm shall align, unleashing a downpour of divine provision that will satiate your deepest longings and elevate your spirit to new heights. The horizon beckons each day, unfurling like the petals of a new bloom under the golden rays of dawn, whispering the promise of new beginnings opportunities ripe for the taking, and challenges that will test the mettle of your soul. Clad in the armor of faith, march forward, fortified by the Holy Word, with the assurance that I, E, your almighty protector, am ever present. My presence is a beacon in the darkest of nights, a comforting shade in the blaze of noon, a steady hand amidst the fiercest storms, and a gentle caress in the soothing rains. Behold, the days of divine favor are upon you, as declared by your sovereign Lord. To be blessed is to bask in the joy that cascades from the heavens, a divine provision that nourishes your soul and completes your being. It is to stride into every battle armed with the knowledge that victory is assured, for you are a child of the Most High. Blessedness is found in the simplicity of being content with your daily bread, in the quiet trust you place in me your divine shepherd, who promises to provide not just for your bodily needs, but for the deeper cravings of your soul, the well-being of your family, and the wisdom you seek to. Nurture your spirit. This wisdom enables you to grow and flourish each day under my guidance, and to be a faithful servant living out the commands of my word 
with joy and dedication. I declare unto you, days rich with blessing are not merely approaching, they are almost upon us. Let your heart echo with belief in this truth, for you are well acquainted with the reality that the word of your omnipotent Father never falls to the ground unfulfilled. Approach me with all your burdens, let not the weight of these concerns rest upon your shoulders alone. The moment for your peace and rejuvenation has arrived. You expend your energies caring for others, draining yourself. But today, I have drawn near to uplift you, to cradle you in my arms, to offer you solace, and to envelop you in the boundless expanse of my love. Do not forget to cherish your own being as well. It is imperative that you dedicate time to seek me through prayer, to attune your ears to my voice, and to absorb my divine insights. Heed my word and my promises, for I have devised a plan destined to revolutionize your life and that of your families. It is not my desire for you to tread further along a path marked by a wearied soul, a troubled heart, and an encumbered mind. You are not created to endure a lifetime of incessant needs and conflicts. I have liberated and saved you so that you may forever stand tall, free from the shackles of defeat or humiliation at the hands of your adversaries. Into you, I have breathed an immeasurable worth and dignity. This is my solemn promise to you. Now I urge you to embrace my truth with open arms. I am setting before you numerous pathways to embark upon a new journey, leaving the shadows of past errors far behind. Concentrate on your loved ones, on prayer, and on stewarding the abundant blessings that are poised to flood into your life. Imagine awakening each day, liberated from the grips of fear or anxiety, your heart brimming with bravery and joy. Initiate this transformation today. Lift your voice in gratitude and proclaim with unwavering faith. Thank you, my God, for gifting me yet another day of life. Feel the divine strength that encases you from head to toe. Observe as your thoughts and emotions find equilibrium and my words firmly implant within your consciousness. You will retain all that I have imparted to you, and it will arm you to face the challenges that today may bring. Recognize and embrace my love for you. Accept my peace. Navigate your life with a resolute heart and find solace in my support. Let not the sorrowful whispers of your pillow at night convince you that love has forsaken you. Dismiss such thoughts, for right at this moment, you are enveloped in the tenderness of my divine embrace. The agony you endure is not a marker of your demise, nor a testament to failure. Surrender to me your pain and find solace in my presence. Should tears wish to flow, let them cascade freely. I long to share in every tear, to be with you in your moments of sorrow, standing by your side. I empathize deeply with your suffering, and it grieves me too. Yet know this, we are united in this trial, and as the dawn breaks with the sun of faith, illuminating your morning, the warmth of my love, your heavenly Father's love, will still be right there beside you. I am here to offer comfort, to imbue you with strength, and to reaffirm how immensely precious you are to me. Ask yourself, what force on earth or in the heavens can ever detach you from my embrace? Let this truth sink into the very core of your being, no anguish, no persecution, doubts, nor trials have the power to sever you from my steadfast, eternal, boundless, and sincere love. I impart this to you, so that you might always bear in mind that regardless of your shortcomings and errors, my love for you stands unshakable. I do not falter, I do not deceive, nor do I embellish. If I have professed my love for you a million times over, it is because my love for you is beyond measure beyond time, infinitely vast and unfailing. Remember, my child, as it is written in Romans 8, 38-39, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let this be a testament to the enduring nature of my love for you, a love that transcends all barriers, a beacon of hope, and a source of strength, no matter the circumstances. 
The moment has arrived for you to fully embrace the depths of my love, discarding every ounce of doubt that shadows your heart. Let your faith be unyielding, akin to a sturdy sailboat that bravely traverses through stormy seas and fierce winds. You are destined neither to sink, nor to be lost in the abyss, nor to stumble in your journey. Trust in my words, grasp the magnitude of this truth. It is time to stand firm in faith, to rise from despair, to walk in unwavering confidence. My hand has showered numerous blessings upon you, each a testament to my unfailing providence. Offer me your heart with the utmost trust and never allow your faith to be shaken. I assure you, I will never forsake you. Proclaim your belief in me. Experience the warmth of my constant presence. Allow this assurance to guide you, as it is affirmed in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thus, with such a promise, let your heart be fortified. I call upon you to stand strong amidst the tempest, secure in the knowledge that your anchor is cast in the bedrock of my love and faithfulness. Your path is illuminated by the light of my word, a beacon that guides you through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Embrace this journey with me, knowing that my love envelops you like a shield, protecting and guiding you towards a destiny filled with hope and abundance. With each step you take, remember, my promises are true, and my love is ceaseless. Let your heart be filled with the peace that comes from knowing you are never alone, for I am with you, guiding your steps, lifting you above the tumult of the waves, and leading you to shores of peace and prosperity. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to me, and I will make your path straight. As proclaimed in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, This is the faith I call you to a faith that sees beyond the visible, that reaches into the very heart of the divine, where my love for you is endless, and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. I am ever-present, eagerly awaiting your conversations with me. Your mind brims with ambitions and well-laid plans. You embody diligence and responsibility. Harbor no fear, for your path is aligned with triumph in and trust in me, without reservation. Seek my presence daily and attentively. Embrace the wisdom my words impart. My desire is for you to tread confidently, to anchor your dreams in the unshakable foundation of the rock, and to lay down the roots of your family's future in alignment with my will and guidance. I am certain you grasp the essence of my message. My request is simple. Direct your focus towards what truly matters, ensuring your precious time and energies are not wasted on ephemeral pursuits and trivial distractions. Your relationship with me is paramount. Let us remain inseparably connected. I await those quiet moments of your attentive listening, for it is in those silences that our deepest exchanges unfold. Your growth and fortification fill me with immense joy, especially as I observe the dreams you chase and the dedication you pour into them. My intent is to shower you with blessings so profound that doubt finds no foothold. For you have been precisely placed in this moment, perfectly prepared for the openings I am about to reveal to you. Proceed. Approach each opportunity with courage. A realm of blessings beckons the courageous, the ones who recognize their value, who reject the echoes of negativity and the discourse of failure or surrender. Embrace this journey with the assurance that you are not alone. Each step you take is a step closer to the fruition of your dreams. Under my watchful eye and with my guiding hand, the adversities you encounter are not roadblocks but stepping stones meticulously placed by me to elevate you to greater heights. In the face of difficulty, remember that resilience and faith open the gates to untold blessings. Stand firm in your worth, undeterred by fear or discouragement, for in my promise lies your victory and fulfillment. I have intricately woven you into existence, infused life within your very being, and graced you with a splendid dominion. Yet should you find yourself retreating in hesitation, shackled by doubts of my assurances or swayed by the errant counsel of those who do not know me, we stand at a crossroads for your growth and flourishing. An unwavering faith in me is essential. 
you must anchor your belief in the truth that I harbor an unfathomable love for you, that my presence is a steadfast reality, and that it is within my greatest desires to nurture and shower blessings upon you. Your existence, your prosperity, rests securely within my omnipotent hands. Trust in this without reservation. Affirm your faith in me. Step into the sanctity of my embrace. Allow my touch to mend your heart and pacify your spirit. As dawn breaks, my intention is to erase the remnants of nocturnal sorrows, to infuse your being with a joy that radiates as you venture into the daylight. You have spent countless hours in the silence of the night, wrestling with concerns that stretch beyond your reach. Let me be your ally. Grant me the privilege to fortify our bond, to enrich this divine companionship. While I value your reverence, I yearn for your trust, to see me not only as your God, but also as your confidant. Share with me your burdens. I am ever present to listen. Your confessions are safe with me, shielded from every ear. I promise forgiveness and to hurl your transgressions into the abyss. As I have proclaimed, your previous errors are not for me to brandish. I choose not to dwell on what lies behind us. Thus, I invite you to dedicate moments each day for our dialogue. I will attentively absorb your words, consider your pleas, and commence the orchestration of my responses. Faith is all that is required of you, along with a measure of patience, for the realization of my vows will encounter no delay. The blessings you seek, the answers you yearn for, will assuredly find their way to you in due course. I encourage you to embrace tranquility in this moment, positioning yourself in readiness for the influx of blessings poised on the horizon. Sustenance, serenity, robust health, spiritual wealth, extraordinary prosperity, familial harmony, restoration within your household, forgiveness and tender affection, these await you. As dawn breaks, ushering in the gift of a new day, let your heart swell with appreciation for this blessing, this privilege you've been granted. Consider those in the throes of hardship who equally yearn for my intervention. I am appointing you as my emissary to embody my love and disseminate the essence and splendor of my divine scheme. Witness the expansion of your joy and the fortification of your vigor as you cultivate a demeanor of worship and thankfulness. My deepest desire is for your happiness. In this assertion, there is no falsehood. Yet the onus is yours to accord me the reverence I am due in your life, to heed my guidance and to earnestly seek my presence. It brings me joy to shower you with blessings and envelop you in my love regardless of the complexities encircling your circumstances. In moments of despair, find solace beneath the shelter of my wings. When anxiety besieges you, find comfort upon my shoulder and unburden your soul. Entrust me with all your fears and apprehensions, for my grace and mercy know no bounds. Let this assurance fill you, my readiness to bestow upon you and your loved ones, a life marked by peace, health, spiritual growth, and abundance is unwavering. Start each day with a heart brimming with gratitude, recognizing the sheer beauty and opportunity each morning brings. Your role as a beacon of my love in the lives of those enduring suffering is critical. Through you, the radiance of my love and the grandeur of my intentions will be manifested. As you embrace a lifestyle of gratitude and praise, you'll find your happiness augmented and your resilience strengthened. Remember, my desire for your joy is unfeigned, rooted in the very essence of my being. However, your fulfillment and the realization of these blessings hinge upon your willingness to prioritize me in your life, to adhere to my teachings, and to pursue me with zeal. I revel in the opportunity to bless and cherish you, even amidst the trials you may face. When the weight of the world feels unbearable, retreat to the refugee provided by my embrace, Share your concerns with me and let my boundless grace and mercy carry you through. My love for you is profound and unwavering, and it is because of this deep affection that I am committed to supporting you. You are cherished deeply by me, my child, and there should never be any room for doubt regarding this truth. You have opened your heart wide to me. Embrace my essence with all your might, 
and your devotion fills me with immense joy. It is for this very reason that you are entitled to approach me boldly, with confidence, communicating with me openly, with clarity, and devoid of any apprehension. Understand that you are worthy of guidance and correction when necessary. I have brought you into existence, having chosen you even before you took your first breath in this world. I am intimately familiar with every aspect of your being, your battles, your strengths, your aspirations, and your vulnerabilities. When you falter and fall, know that it does not provoke my wrath. Never hesitate to seek my presence, even when burdened with guilt. Where else shall you turn? To those who profess their regard and affection for you, only to betray my teachings and speak negatively of you behind your back. The sanctuary you yearn for a haven of friendship, understanding, and boundless love can only be found in my presence. I'm here not to judge harshly, but to offer refuge and redemption. In my eyes, you are more than your mistakes. You are a beloved creation deserving of grace and a fresh start. Let my love be the foundation on which you rebuild and renew your spirit. Together, we will navigate the complexities of life, drawing strength from our unbreakable bond. Remember, my arms are always open, ready to offer comfort, guidance, and the unconditional love that you seek. Come to me and let us walk this journey together, enveloped in the light of my love and the promise of a future filled with hope and fulfillment. My pursuit is not to catalogue your errors, for I am already acquainted with each one. It is not my desire to witness your faltering, only to turn away in disdain. Rather, in moments when you find yourself drifting away from my embrace, it is I who venture forth to meet you, to gently guide you back to the sanctuary of peace. Within this haven flows the river of serenity, from which you may quench your thirst with its revitalizing waters. This is the earnest plea I extend to you once more. Never allow the shadow of your most challenging trials to make you forget the depth of my love for you. My affection, coupled with my omnipotence, stands ready to extricate you from the depths of despondency, to infuse your being with a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment, and to rekindle the bravery and zest for life that seem beyond your grasp. My deepest wish is for you to trust in me, to immerse yourself in the realization that you are profoundly loved and safeguarded. For this is the eternal truth, unchanging across the ages. Let this assurance be your stronghold, reminiscent of the promises found within the scriptures, such as Isaiah 43, 2, which proclaims, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This passage is a testament to the steadfast nature of my love and protection over your life. My presence is a constant, unwavering force designed to guide you through every trial and tribulation, offering a wellspring of hope and renewal when despair seems to have the upper hand. Embrace this truth with all your heart, knowing that my love is a beacon that shines brightly, guiding you back to me time and time again. In me, you will find the solace and strength necessary to face whatever lies ahead. Assured of my eternal love, and commitment to your well-being. I want to assure you of my everlasting love, a love that seeks your highest good now and forevermore. Rest assured, I am vigilantly overseeing the well-being of your family. Continue to lift them up in prayer, for they rest securely within my providential care. Your prayers serve as a powerful conduit through which I am actively intervening in their lives, addressing even those concerns that remain invisible to your eyes. Do not halt your supplications. Their need for your spiritual intercession is profound. Know that I accompany each of them as they step out from the safety of your home, safeguarding them from harm and enveloping them in my protection. Embrace tranquility, my dear child, for I am orchestrating the unity and peace of your household. The distress and sorrow that weigh upon you are on the verge of transformation. Together, you and your family will experience a deepening bond. I am in the process of distancing those who sow discord and ill will from your midst. However, it is imperative that you extend forgiveness and show compassion towards each of them. Refrain from engaging with their antagonism and you will witness a cessation of their disruptive actions. 
Let this assurance inspire you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9 As you embody peace and forgiveness, you become a reflection of my kingdom on earth, influencing not only your family, but also those around you. Your restraint and love in the face of provocation are powerful testimonies of your faith and trust in my will. Therefore, persist in prayer, remain steadfast in love, and continue to foster forgiveness. In doing so, you align with my purposes, becoming a vessel through which my grace and healing can flow into the lives of your loved ones and even your adversaries. The unity and harmony you long for within your home are being woven together by my hand. Stand firm in this faith and prepare to witness the beautiful unfolding of my plan for you and your family. You were brought into existence with a divine purpose to embody and disseminate my love, to be a beacon of my kindness and illumination in the world. It is through the living testimony of your life that many within your circle, especially your family, will undergo transformation. They will observe the serenity and profound change in you and start to question the source of your peace and newfound demeanor. It is in these moments of curiosity and wonder that you must attribute the transformation to your faith in me, asserting that just as I have reshaped your life, I hold the capacity to transform the lives of each member of your family as well. Continue to intercede for them in prayer, my beloved child. While it may seem beyond your ability to alter certain circumstances or to be perpetually by their side, remember, my reach knows no bounds. I will intervene on your behalf and theirs because of my boundless love for every soul upon this earth. Your role in this divine partnership is simple yet profound. Commit to prayer, relinquish all forms of resentment, malicious talk, envy and bitterness. Place your unwavering trust in me, live with the assurance that I oversee all, and that my timing is impeccable. Surrender your worries to me, and you shall witness remarkable transformations in your surroundings. If doubts ever cloud your mind about my ability to reach someone within your home, cling to faith, for my power knows no limits. I'm capable of altering mindsets, reshaping character, and softening hearts. Be patient. For soon you will bear witness to the evidence of my transformative power. Remember with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let this assurance fortify your faith and guide your actions as you walk in obedience and submission to my will. You pave the way for miracles to unfold, not only in your life, but in the lives of those around you. Stand firm in this belief and ready your heart for the wondrous works I am about to perform in your midst. Brace yourself, for what I am about to unveil will surpass your wildest expectations. I want you to know that my presence will surround you both by day and by night, guiding the unfolding of events in alignment with my celestial scheme. Turn to the scriptures and commune with me in heartfelt prayer, for it is through these sacred texts that I will affirm the veracity of my promises to you. Though heaven and earth may vanish, my words will stand unalterable and eternal. I will navigate you, leading you directly to the juncture of your breakthrough, to the very spot where you will thrive unboundedly. Anticipate a profound metamorphosis within your life as my plans for you come to fruition. Embrace the gift I am extending to you. You are on the verge of entering a realm that marks the beginning of all your dreams and ambitions. In this new phase, you will cross paths with souls whose journeys mirror your own, whose thoughts resonate with the echoes of your aspirations. Together, you will craft a tapestry of blessings and wonders, for the scope of what I have in store for you is beyond your wildest imaginations. Approach every individual with kindness and empathy, for you are destined to meet people of virtue and extraordinary character. Souls who will captivate and inspire you Help will arrive from quarters you least expect. Remain vigilant with your senses, finely tuned so that when the moment arrives and the door to new possibilities opens wide, you will not be ensnared in trivial pursuits or meaningless distractions. Further explanations are unnecessary. My message to you is unambiguous and its truth resonates within you. You know with certainty 
that I will direct your footsteps and remain by your side through every season of life. Place your trust in me, for my love for you is boundless. Today, I aim to show you the depth of your significance to me. I am the guardian of your heart, the provider of tranquility to your mind and the purifier of your thoughts. In moments of upheaval, know that I am steadfastly by your side. Believe in the assurance I bring. This message is a treasure meant just for you. Every blessing you receive flows from my grace and with me is your constant companion. Each new day unfolds as an opportunity for unexpected joys and divine interventions. I am here to empower you, to be your beacon of hope in the darkest nights and through the most challenging trials. My love for you is the foundation of my commitment to alleviate your worries. It is out of this profound love that I assure you of my forgiveness. Should there have been moments when you felt distant or if doubts about my presence clouded your heart, know that I forgive your hesitation and every misstep along the way. My ultimate wish is to breathe new life into your being, to catalyze a transformation within you that enables you to walk in step with me, fully embracing the life I have envisioned for you. I admire your dedication to those you hold dear, yet I urge you to lift them up in your prayers as well. Rest assured, I extend my vigilant watch over you and your loved ones at all times. Through every journey you undertake, under the brilliance of day and through the shadows of night, across paths blessed and even those misguided, continue to pray. Maintain your trust in me and let not anxiety overwhelm you. I pledge to safeguard them, harboring the same desire to welcome them back into my embrace, should they stray in search of new horizons. Have you forgotten, or perhaps it momentarily escaped your memory, the reason behind my sacrifice, enduring the agony of the cross? It was to envelop you and your loved ones in my boundless mercy. My desire is for you to approach my throne with confidence at any time. The gateway is perpetually open. My ear is inclined towards you, and my promises stand ready to manifest in your life, nurturing your faith and yielding a harvest that paves the way to a more fulfilling existence. Let me affirm once again, for the sake of absolute clarity, that your unwavering faith and trust in me are what I seek. There's no need for prolonged contemplation. Should you face any challenge, simply come before me and trust me with your concerns, and that is sufficient. I will heed your call, and my word, alive and powerful, will manifest its truth in your life. This same word that you engage with daily through reading, listening and earnest reflection carries beautiful promises that echo in your thoughts amidst trials. When you feel assailed, wounded or diminished by the words or actions of others, remember my commitment to never leave you forsaken. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that your life and the lives of your family are securely held within my hands. No one can remove you from my care. My love's magnitude has been revealed through countless gestures, and the time for doubt has passed. You and your family hold immeasurable value in my eyes. Do not lose heart or refrain from praying. This message comes in response to your plea for a sign, and here it stands. Should you require further assurance, know that I am ever willing to communicate with you. Awaken your senses, ready your heart, for I find joy in speaking with you and yearn to reveal the depths of my love continually. I am ever attentive to your voice, never growing weary of hearing your petitions. Yet, I urge you to persist in prayer. Do not regard it as a fruitless endeavor. Exercise patience and allow me the grace to work intricately in your life. I promise to deliver beyond your expectations when the moment for my answer arrives. Do not lose heart in your period of waiting. Engage in introspection. Consider how you have cultivated and fortified your faith. It has grown more resilient and unwavering. You find yourself less daunted by challenges and less consumed by fear. In the face of conflict, you are walking my path. And this is commendable. In those trying times when you felt adrift, you did not veer off course or wander down convoluted and hazardous byways. Rather, you clung steadfastly to my love. And this brings me immense joy. 
Take comfort in the assurance that I am always attuned to your prayers, committed to answering them. Your journey of faith demonstrates a remarkable transformation. You've learned to stand firm, drawing closer to me with each step. This steadfastness is a testament to the strength of our bond, a bond that will never be broken. I celebrate your devotion and the progress you've made on this spiritual voyage. Your trust in me, even amidst uncertainty, is a profound act of worship that does not go unnoticed.